Sex is a Spiritual Gift by Cherokee Billy There is nothing to compare with being in love and the person loving you equally. When this occurs, it is magic, and nothing compares with when you look into each other's eyes and share this most beautiful gift together. You know that your spirits have joined together as you become one. Sex is a beautiful gift from the Creator for us to enjoy as a communion of spirits and physical pleasure for each other. Jesus spoke about this in a teaching. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and will be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. Many times we have heard this last passage at wedding ceremonies, not realizing that there is a bonding that has taken place, and it is a spiritual one. Because sex is a spiritual joining, it is not to be taken lightly. Throughout history, adultery and fornication have been commonplace. What is often overlooked is that each time you have sex with someone, your spirits are joining together. Even if it was just a casual one-night stand, there was a spiritual exchange. It is very important to protect your spiritual self, not just your physical self, and be thoughtful about your spirituality before you enter into a physical relationship with someone. Many times our sexual desire outweighs our common sense in the moment of feeling a desire for someone. If you can stop for a moment and think about your spiritual self, who is far more real than your physical body, you may be able to realize that you will be joined spiritually to this person whether you see them again or not. Often this can be the reason that people become obsessed with someone. They are thinking with their physical mind instead of thinking from a spiritual perspective. Many people like to throw caution to the wind and just go for it. I'm not condemning sex by any means. I am trying to make you aware of your spiritual self and what occurs spiritually when you have sexual relations with another person. As a spiritual advisor, I often counsel people who have become involved with someone who is married and they want to know if that person is going to leave their mate. As much as we push the vows of marriage aside, our spiritual being understands that a true exchange was made. That is why someone wants to know if their married lover is still in love with their mate. There may not be that passionate love like in the beginning of a relationship, but there is still a spiritual bonding that has occurred between married people. Before you become involved with someone who is married, start thinking about the spiritual bond they have created with another person. How would you feel if someone tried to break a bond you had created with someone? It would be highly unpleasant. If the married person chooses to leave their partner, then you would be free to have a relationship without breaking a bond. Until then you would always be a tortured soul in this three-way relationship. Enjoy the communion of your spirits with your sexual partner and understand that there is much more going on besides the physical pleasure. Above all, remember that we are not just our bodies, we are spirits that have been created by the Divine Spirit. And even though we live in this third dimension, we must strive to focus on our spiritual life in this vehicle called our body. Thank you for listening. This is Cherokee Billy.